Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esty. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five tips on how to prepare for the T's six test math section and how to get an advanced score on your first attempt. I just took the T's test about a month and a half ago and on the math section, I scored 97%. So I want to break down for you exactly how I prepared for the math section and how I was able to get such a high score on my first try. If you're watching this today and you are prepping for the TEAST test, I would love if you'd be able to drop a comment below and let me know when you're planning to take the test and what healthcare program you are applying to. All right, so let's dive right in and do a general overview of what the TEAST test looks like and also what the math section covers and what are the key aspects that you will see on the test. So the total of the TEAST test, you're given three hours and 29 minutes to complete all the sections. On the math section, you're given 54 minutes to answer 36 questions. So that breaks down to about a minute and a half per question. Out of those 36 questions, 32 of them will be scored and four of them will be unscored. Now you're not going to know which ones are scored and which are unscored, so make sure that you put your best effort into all the questions on the math section. There are two subcontent areas on the math section. Those subcontent areas are numbers and algebra and then measurement and data. Now that we've talked about the general overview of the math section and how it breaks down, let's talk about my five tips to get a better score on the math section and how to get an advanced score on your first attempt. All right, so tip number one, make sure you have a great study guide to prepare for the test. Now, the study guide that I recommend is the ATIT's Secrets Study Guide. It's this guy right here. I used it to study for all four sections of the test and I highly recommend it. What I did when I studied for the math section is I went through the entire section on this book. I read through everything that I needed to know. And as I was reading, I would make a note of each section that I felt like I needed a little bit more review so that I could go back to it later and spend some more time studying. Now, the nice part about this book that I loved with the math section is that they have a lot of practice questions so that you can actually work through problems and see what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong. So I worked through the entire math section and I did all the study problems. And then I went back and I would review the areas that I knew I was weak on and that I needed a little bit more focused review to strengthen those areas. I also made sure as I was going through that if there were equations that I knew would be important to remember on the test, I would write them out and I would go back to them and review them and review them until I had them memorized. Tip number two. Make sure that you know the key areas that are going to be emphasized on the math section of the TEAST test. The math section covers a lot of topics. It basically covers generally what you would learn in high school, arithmetic, algebra, basic data and statistics. So there's just a lot of areas that the math section could cover, but there also are key areas that you know almost for sure are going to show up on the T's math section. So a few of these things that you should make sure that you really know and that you kind of hone your studies in on are the order of operations. Make sure you have memorized the order of operations when you are doing an equation. There are a lot of word problems on the TEAST test and you should know how to convert a word problem into an equation. Also make sure you know about percentage problems and how to work them. There also are a lot of fraction problems. When I took the T's test, at least from what I remember, I found that the most common question on the math section had to do with fractions. So make sure you understand how to add, subtract, divide, and multiply fractions, and also how to order a list of fractions by value. The T's test also covers racial problems. It has equations with variables. It has graphs, tables, and plots. Make sure you know how to read graphs and tables. It covers basic geometry, and so make sure that you understand how to find area and volume of a variety of different shapes and objects. And so all of these are kind of all at a basic high school level, but there are quite a few topics that are likely to show up on the math section, and those are some of them. So make sure that you really focus your studies on the problem areas for you and then also on these key areas that will likely show up on the test. Union Test Prep also has a really helpful list of all of the math topics that are helpful to know for the TEAST test. So I've linked that below and I found that list very helpful in knowing how to organize my math studies. 
Tip number three is to make sure that you take practice tests until you feel really good about the score that you've gotten. This might seem a little bit simple, but it's easy to kind of gloss over all the topics and then want to just quickly go take the test, get it over with. But remember that this is an investment and you really want to get a good score so that you can get into the healthcare program of your choice on your first try. The study guide that I mentioned earlier does have several practice tests and so that's one of the other reasons why I love this study guide is that it's all in one. It has the study guide that you need as well as practice tests. I also use another test book that I found very helpful, the five T's practice tests and this is put out by McGraw Hill Education. So I'll link both of these books below in case you're interested in purchasing one of them. I think if you were to only go with one book, definitely I would recommend this secret study guide. But if you also want to get some extra practice tests, this is extremely helpful as well. Tip number four, when you actually go in to take the T's test and you're doing the math section, make sure that you actually write out your problem as you are working it out. Don't just do the problem in your head. And maybe this is more a personal thing, but I found that if I just worked the problem out in my head, even if it seemed really simple, there were a lot of times where I would miss an important step or I would come to the wrong conclusion just because of one little mistake that I made. So if you work it out on paper, it's much less likely that you're going to run into small mistakes like that. Finally, tip number five, make sure that you use a methodical approach as you are answering the questions on the math section of the T's test. So what I would recommend is when you read the problem, make sure that you first identify what the question is asking you. You don't want to work out a problem and then come to the wrong answer just because you didn't take that time to actually identify what the question is asking you in the first place. And then after you've done that, try to remember any important equations or information that you know about that particular type of math problem. Then work the problem, come up with the answer that you believe is correct. And then after you've done all that, look at the multiple choice answers below. I found that it was more helpful to do that first before looking at the answers to the question because especially on the math section, they put in a lot of similar answers that initially could seem to be correct until you've actually worked the problem. Now, probably you're going to run into a few questions that you think, okay, I have no idea what the answer is here. I know I did. And what I did for those questions is I would follow that same approach. First, I would identify what the question actually was asking me. And then I would try to remember any information I knew about that type of problem. If I still had no idea what the answer might be, I would look at the multiple choice answers and I would eliminate all the answers that I knew were wrong first. And then that would leave me with a couple options. And from those, you know, two or three possibilities, I would try to narrow it down to what was the most likely option. So even if you're completely stumped on the answer to a question, make sure that you answer every single question, try to eliminate any wrong answers that there are, and then make an educated guess on what you think is the right answer because at least you will have a chance of getting the answer correct and of boosting your score a little bit more. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I also have some other videos on taking the ATIT six test as a whole, as well as on the science section of the T's test, where I have given a free download for all my science flashcards. So go ahead and check out those videos as well. If you would like to see future videos specifically on the T's test reading section or on the English language and usage section, also go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know. And you can like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content similar to this.